gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're doing a review slash conversation about a beefcake of a knife. CRKT Crawford Casper, which is kind of an odd name, but those are the two people that designed the knife. Um, yeah, I've been carrying this thing around for a couple days now, you know, trying to get a feel for it as an EDC knife because I, I, I was talking to my buddy about it, just my new CRKT stuff. And, you know, I was like, all right, well, let me just, you know, prove it and carry this thing around. And, I mean, whew, this thing is a beast. We're going to call it a tank, for lack of a better word. I know it's overplayed in the knife community, but that's really what it is. I mean, I really, I can't think of a better way to describe it other than, you know, just because of its bulk and its weight and, you know, just the hefty general feel of this knife. You got to call it a tank. That's really what it is. It's a tank. Um, my role for this thing was, I, I don't really know what the purpose was behind it. I bought it because I thought it was cool, and it is pretty neat looking and whatnot. I mean, it has, you know, it was cheap. This knife was $20. So, for what it is, 20 bucks, that is a great deal on it. it it's all about what you're going to use it for, though. You know, honestly, personal preference, I'm going to say that I don't think that this is a, you know, ideal EDC blade. But we'll get to that later. Um, like I said, $20. Handles are Zytel, which is that, you know, glass-filled junk, but, you know, whatever. It's cheap and lightweight, so it, if it wasn't for these Zytel handles, this thing would probably weigh a freaking pound. But either way, uh, Zytel handles. The steel is 8CR14 MOV, so it's like mid-grade Chinese stuff. Not bad. You know, it's stainless. Not bad for what it is. Um, it's got a modified drop point. So as you can tell, it's got this like false edge up here, and that that alone gives it more of a tactical feel to it than an EDC kind of thing. So I don't know. Yeah, I think that's kind of the role I put it in. It also carries this uh, auto locks, which is staple for CRKT. And if you guys didn't see my other CRKT video, what that is is it essentially turns this into a fixed blade knife. It is a liner lock, so when you want to close it, you just push that thing to the side there. You push the lever right there, you see, push that over, and then you close the knife. But when you engage this little lever here, it makes it so you can't push that over. It locks it in and essentially turns this into a fixed blade. Now for, you know, for what it is, it's pretty neat. Maybe if you were, you know, in the military or you were, you know, on base somewhere and you needed a tactical style larger folding knife this might you know do the trick as opposed to more expensive larger knives because it's only twenty dollars but you know other than being in the military I can't really see this as a you know everyday you know use kind of thing it's just so big and so hefty I mean it's 7.2 ounces and to put that in kind of perspective um, this is the Gerber Big Rock kind of a camp knife I'm gonna do a review on this later on but I mean they they are very similar here I mean, just that's kind of why I put them up here together is because one, the color-wise, length, you know, the general whole thing is they're very similar. Let's see here. Yeah, we're looking at about nine and a quarter on both of them, and this one's a fixed blade. Now, you know, in all fairness, I do like the Casper, the feel as far as you know, carrying it around. It feels really good like that. It's a lot of extra pinky room there. So, large hands is definitely a plus with this knife. Um, this one's kind of thin feeling, but it is a fixed blade. So what I'm saying here is that, you know, whereas this one could fail here with this auto locks, you could have yourself a fixed blade knife that weighs an ounce less. These two together, this sheath, 6.2 ounces. That's set up right there. I know it's not a good sheath, regardless. 6.2 ounces for this, 7.2 for just the folding knife, and it's so wide. When you put this in your pocket, I mean, it is, you know it's there. This is not stealthy in the slightest bit. This is my other CRKT knife. This is the M16. And as you can tell, I mean, just side by side, this thing, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't even know. This is like a tiger shark, and this is like a great white. It just swallows it up. It's huge. And I mean, maybe you like that. Maybe you want to have something large in your pocket. But if you're doing the EDC thing and you carry a flashlight and whatever else you have on you at all times, it's going to take up a lot of space. It's kind of heavy. It's whatever. If You may like it. I'm not terribly crazy about the idea of having this massive knife in my pocket. The clip, 
decent. Mine's a little loose just because I've been, you know, carrying it around and using it for a while. It's kind of thin for how bulky and heavy the knife is. I would have liked to have seen it been a little bit more stout just because, I mean, it's a big knife, so it has more weight behind it. This feels pretty lightweight, but, I mean, you're getting a $20 knife, so you can't really argue with that. But as a general rule, the knife itself is pretty well, you know, put together. I'm not seeing any issues with it. No stripped nuts or, you know, any unfinished spots that are lackluster. It's it's well done. I mean, it's a, it's a nice $20 knife. Definitely worth the $20 itself, but I just can't. I'm still trying to find a role for it. Maybe it'll be my backpack folding knife. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But, you know, for what it is, pretty neat. Um, it is pretty sharp. I did just touch this up a couple days ago just because I was carrying it with me. But, I mean, as a, let's see here. So, yeah, mm, pretty sharp. I mean, you can see that it's definitely, you know, slicing stuff off. But, um, yeah, like, that's the thing. If you can find a roll for this, somewhere it fits in. I've seen other reviews on it. Just, I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to say military. I'm going to say no other use for this knife besides maybe backup to the backup in your backpack or military just because of how big it is. It's too large to be of any everyday use to anyone. And I personally am not crazy about it. But either way, 20 bucks well spent for, you know, somebody who has the use of a super large tank of a folding knife. Think uh, BK2 in a folder. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think, guys. All right, bye.